Ooh. Rival time. The gimmick I like in, uh, I guess, at least the Tekken, uh, uh, Tekken universe is that, uh, no matter what language people speak, um, it's, like, everybody understands it, no matter what. Yeah! Oh. Let's do this! <laughs> episode I'll just do arcade way through but on hardest difficulty. those 12 characters in the future when they come out a lot of my mains are those characters like Christy oh man I definitely would go for that because she's my main in Tekken 6 and uh let's see here I think we got also Dudley also a fan favorite of mine Cody uh I think also Lars Elisa oh man it's like we got some of the best characters, and the thing is, the ironic thing is that um, a lot of characters that are DLC, they're not the background characters, they're actually somebody else. Mm. Oh, in 
her uh, win pose in Tekken 6. She just like completely looks like. Uh, Akuma would give me a harder time with some of the other teams. But as long as I keep doing those mix ups and stuff. Okay, thank God. I didn't get caught in the... Oh, man. Are you serious? Oh, 
They're gonna go Pandora mode. But, I guess at least the Pandora box is out of the question. So we got. Lily was close to obtaining Pandora, it slipped through her fingers. Although Lily felt that she had some small measure of responsibility in the failure to acquire the box, she mostly blamed her partner, Oscar Kazama. To make Oscar take responsibility for using No, it's not done yet. <laughs> oh, Alright then. Oh. All right, then. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in to this first episode of Revolving Tuesday. Of course, uh, I guess the name itself would be, uh, you know, maybe edited or whatever. If, you know, I feel like it. <laughs> Um, so if you feel like hitting me up, or my game attacks right there, top right of the screen, Alphonse Zeus. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and have a good day or night.